so we all know apple a really big a trillion dollar brand which each and every one of us have seen around using the devices from whether it is the iphones the ipads apple watches airpods or any type of stuff but there are some things which apple does and each and every other brand does whether it's coming from the phones boxes or removing the headphone jack from the box of phones and lot of things like that but when it comes to the software each and every smartphone has its own identity and each and every smartphone has its own ui or own operating system on the top of it most of the smartphones are using the on the android side their own google's operating system and also some of the brands are there who uses the customized stuff on the top of it whether it's coming from the xiaomi realme oppo vivo uh, there are a lot of brands who uses the their own operating system on the top of it but they have their own unique identity when it comes to the operating system but sometimes there are some things which are really good enough that each and every other brand has to copy when it comes to the apple apple iphone 14 pro and the pro max introduced lastly uh, in 2022 yes last year basically and uh, at the introduction before even introduction we were knowing that it will be having a pill cut out pill cut out display design something like that and it will be something like apple will be doing some of the gestures and stuff like that introducing but when it came around and introduced as if the dynamic island people were crushed up and uh, soon or later each and everyone was going to be knowing that this software design will be going to be copied in a lot of smartphones whether it comes to the budget mid-range or you can say some of the flagship smartphones are able to have this stuff and even though if the company doesn't push this as if uh officially available there are a lot of applications which after the introduction of the dynamic island came around on the different different android smartphones and this dynamic island has been heavily copied you can say but why it is so why dynamic island eventually became that each and everyone began to copy it. this is captain diaz you're watching carlos and diaz and uh, this is a video where i'll be talking about why dynamic island is everywhere let's get started before we start up let me give you a quick brief intro about what is this dynamic island if you are not knowing it as of now this is a dynamic island it is a simple type of design which a software given to us i will introduced in the iphone 14 pro and the pro max so last year previously you can say in 2020 and this software design is basically having a lot of stuff whether you are using the maps or you can say hearing some music whether it's your face id whether it's your delivery happening to be happens a lot of things are there with a different different application perspective this dynamic island has adopted that stuff and a lot of other brands uh, who are into the development and stuff and they have also customized their ui and stuff with the in support with the dynamic island there are a lot of things that the dynamic island can do and there are a lot of applications which can take benefits of the dynamic island simple as that followed by it has been kept same as it is on the iPhone 15 device too and a lot of uh, different different type of widgets and stuff has been also added for the dynamic island the dynamic island was basically made to make sure that the a uh, pill cut out doesn't make sure that the, it is irritating and different in terms of the design but afterwards it was heavily copied and uh, soon or later even after the introduction a lot of brands and a lot of developers who are into the development of the android application introduce a different type of application over the android google play store simple as that question might be coming around into your heads whether we should buy this type of smartphone or not see at the first glance if the if your budget is tight enough if your budget is having that smartphone really goodly um go ahead the software might be a bit of laggy enough or something like that but after a while most of the brands have kept themselves a life for the software bit whether it's a techno infinix which software was kind of all sided but now they are also giving a lot of uh, support for that just nice and when it comes to the extreme bougie type of market then this type of uh, dynamic island looking type of smartphones basically will be available a lot but if your bougie day time has i has to tell you go ahead look ahead with the specifications if it is good if it's suitable to you then the phone might be good enough for you too but if you come around with the smartphones 
then there is also a lot of uh, clumsy type of stuff happening uh, with a lot of brands who are well known enough who are doing that type of stuff whether it comes to the Huawei Honor they have done this Oxygen OS has also introduced a lot of stuff like that Techno and Infinix we can say in extreme budget people might need something like that and they introduced it, this type of stuff ITEL also came around and uh, do a lot of stuff like that but these brands are having a well known impression with the market there might be a lot of other brands who didn't catch up my eye basically it has been around 4 to 5 months I have seen a lot of phones which recently launched into extreme budget whether Xiaomi, Poco, Realme smartphones which came around with this dynamic island capsule type of stuff naming that has a own name on the top of it but it won't be working on a lot of people it might work out on some of the people who are who don't have a extreme out of the box knowledge about the smartphone but yeah that's something for the software as if they would talk talking about but this island is easily can be copied as if we have seen into a lot of stuff whether it's coming from a google Play Store application whether it's a brand or so giving an update to a already available smartphone why it is so if you come around there are a lot of developers out there but if you press it a bit of amount there is a good amount of clone market let's talk about that too okay so the clone market if you take a look at some of the clone smartphones nowadays um let's talk about the latest and the latest iphone 15 pros clones uh, they have tried to manipulate the dynamic island really really well um, basically when you push the charging button uh, push the charging whether it's a notification whether it's sometimes the maps also but processor doesn't have that much capability so it might get crashed out and stuff like that happens a lot i've seen a lot of clone based smartphones recently only um which to be frank it's identical basically if you go around into a marketplace online market places basically they try to manipulate that this iphone is also having the dynamic element but sometimes if you take a look at the borders if you have accurate eyes and if you have seen a lot of iphones or something like that they are really off sometimes your camera looks dead if they upload a lot of photos but sometimes there are smartphones um smartphone renders who looks a lot identical to the iphones to be frank at a first glance you might even get you know scan the head if a lot of users have been happening too so make sure you go ahead and take a look at the smartphones as if properly into your own hand don't go ahead into a lot of second second hand opinions on on the online stores basically they might be a one of the reason to scam you around and uh, at a first glance if you take a look at the fake iphone you will be easily able to identify if you have to take a look at the other iphones so make sure you have a third party process too for your same iphone before payment after payment uh, you have been so scammed if it's a fake iphone if you are lucky enough then you might be getting a grab on deal on many of the marketplaces so every time keep a second opinion around with you that's it for this video i hope you might be knowing that why dynamic island is been so happening to be everywhere if you end up liking this video then like share subscribe gonna be appreciating our work i will catch you in the next video this was captain diawas Stay safe, stay connected. Peace out.